Hello everyone, and today we are reviewing the Canon 100D from Canon. So let's get into it, and this is a great camera. So this camera has a 18 megapixel effective CMOS APS-C sensor um, with the EF and EFS mount, so you can see they're red and white. Um, also it has one card slot next to the battery and a touchscreen 3 inch LCD screen so I'll give you a little preview of that right now okay so the menu guide I'll just turn the camera on um, basically so you've obviously got because that's what's happening the sensors there and I'm putting my finger over but I'm in aperture priority right now and you press the Q and it comes up with all these settings so you've got user definition 1 which I'm using it's like creative style mode you've got an uh, artificial intelligent focus uh, continuous shooting no timer which you can change here so you can do like timers and stuff um, I'm, a I'm shooting in JPEG at the minute so that's JPEG uh, all the way down medium stuff like that JPEG medium JPEG small, uh, JPEG and raw, raw, stuff like that. The next thing on this part, you got your exposure. Hold on, let's go to manual. Just gives you more options, and I'm on f32 because I was just testing the depth of field, but we just put that all the way down f5. Um, You've got your shutter speed, you can change that with either that or your hands there. Yep, aperture ISO, which you just press this, uh, press this button on the top here. And it'll just go into ISO. ISO 400 is what I shoot in. Uh, you've got uh, auto correct images, brightness, and contrast. I've got it off for no reason. But yeah, I'll just disable that. But yeah. That is the pff, the main mode thing. And then if you press, if you go back onto there, hold on, it should come up. Hold on. Oh yeah, it was automatic sensor cleaning as well. Oh yeah. So if you press the info, it will come up with blank uh, all these. So how much free space you got? I'm using a 64 gig SD card. Uh, yeah, just that. The menu, simple really. Uh, image quality, beep, uh, self timer, release really shutter, image review, lens aberration, stuff like that. Um, yeah. Then here you've got all your flash and ISO and exposure and stuff. Here you've got all your creative styles and stuff. Uh, basic modes for your photos, aspect ratio, metering, grid display. Your playback menu, just like what you need to do, you can rotate images. So I just took a blank photo the last time. Uh, yeah, here's another um, playback menu. you just got all these here. you got your settings, so you've got select folder, stuff like that, format card. Uh, power off and the LCD, um, touch control, well it's touch screen, firmware and copyright information so if we just do that but yeah there you go. yeah and then there's my menu so you can like do your own menu and stuff what you want on there right okay so if we go into video it will come up with like your live view so if I put my hands there it will focus on that, it, not really, it's not on macro but yeah. and it takes, you can take photos in uh, video as well so um, with this as well uh, if you go into menu you get a new video menu now this is like the AF method you want so I've got face tracking, servo AF in video uh, autofocus with your shutter button, metering timer record size so like 1080p um, 
sound recording. Now this is an interesting one because you don't want an auto if you're using an external mic. So I not I always put an external mic when I'm doing my videos. It goes on the hot shoe there. Um, video snapshot. I don't know what that is really, but I've just disabled it. Um, you can do 1080p in 30fps, 1080p in 24fps, uh, 720p in 60fps, and 480p in 30fps. They all give you half an hour time. So uh, back onto the main menu. AV, which is uh, aperture, if you're in manual, and just hold that down while you're scrolling. Um, but yeah, and then exposure. This is on manual exposure, but that's the same reason. Um, on the top here, it's a nice compact camera. It's got quite a spongy shutter button, uh, ISO button, scroller wheel, uh, mode dial. So you got manual, uh, um, aperture priority. Uh, shutter priority, program auto, scene intelligent auto, um, flash off, creative auto, uh, portrait, landscape, macro, sports, scene, uh, special scene mode, which is like a load of different things. Yeah, just back onto manual. Uh, yeah, and then you got your off switch there, and then you turn it on. If you want to do video, you just go like that. But yeah, and on the side here, you have a mic input, an intervalometer input, a remote control, uh, AV8 on digital and HDMI if you want to plug it into a monitor or a, your TV or something to view your photos. Um, if you're wondering what this is, so if we just go up to F29 and this button here, I don't know if you can hear that but um, that's the depth of field, so ha what your photo will look like in through the viewfinder and all the ring light things there, but when you press this it will show you what your depth of field is so yeah, I've got a lens filter on here but uh, Canon zoom lens EFS 18 to 55 3.5 to uh, 5.6 IS STM 58mm uh, filter uh, thread this is the kit lens, it depends when you get this camera because you either get this lens or the um, IS one which doesn't have STM silent mode so yeah, 18 to 55. I have ordered a Tamron lens, which is the, I think it's the 18 to 270, uh, Piso Drive. Yeah, a Tamron one for for this. I'll do a review on that soon. Um, I don't know if I'll film it on my on this. I normally film videos on this, but I'm filming with my phone, and that's where the sh uh, sensor is. So it's right at the back of the camera. You got a nice eye cup over your viewfinder. It's quite a reasonably big viewfinder to be fair. Playback button, delete button, uh, this is AF point, you can change what it does. And you've got here, it just, you can AE, uh, auto exposure lock. And in the bottom here, I've got a hand strap on, so if you go like that, you've got your, uh, your SD card, I have a micro adapter here, you've got an SD card, and your LP E12 battery. It comes with the LP, uh, no, the LC E12 battery charger. So yeah, there you go. 7.2 volt uh, lithium ion battery. So yeah, that is pretty much a menu guide, and a user guide, and a review of the Canon 100D. It also has, if you don't have external flashes, a pop-up flash. Sorry, I ran out of storage there. But um, yeah, uh, you can put external flashes on here. You just lock that in, and it stays on. But yeah, that is a review of the Canon 100D EOS, and it's a great camera, great, great beginner camera. You can still find it for about 200 quid. But yeah, I only just got this, and it's it's been my hidden little gem for taking great photos with the 18 megapixel sensor. So yeah, this is a great all round camera and I think you should get it if you don't have camera, uh, if you're like, starting photography, this is a very good option. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, uh, th thank you for watching this video, there will be a few more videos coming out in the next few months, um, not too much, but uh, I hope you enjoyed that video and I'll see you guys in the next video, I don't know what it will be, but yeah, thank you, that is a very good review of the Canon 100D.